What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail. Um, let's get into it. I'm lazy, but I deserve to be rich. Uh, I've run into this in the last few weeks but from adults and teenagers. And I don't care. Both of them stupid. All right. I just, I, and you got to explain to the teenagers why it's stupid. But the adults, you just kind of like. You, you you notice why, you know, your life is sucking? You, you still, you know, I mean, you've, you've been like this for your adult life. So here's the issue. So let me get this right. And we're going to use it from teenager up. I'm going to go to school and I'm not going to do my schoolwork and I'm not going to get good grades and I'm not going to be on time to class. But, 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 but I'm going to. But I'm gonna pass, pass and make the honor roll, and I'm and I'm gonna get into college doing that, and then and then and if I don't go to college, I'm just gonna be some rich and famous something. And then you see adults who who tried that, and they're still trying to figure out. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I I deserve to be rich and famous for all I've went through in life. <laughs> I, just, I earned it. I deserve. It. I've been struggling. Yeah, you've been struggling to have common sense. You've been struggling to, to, to stay to, to stop being stupid. That's been your struggle. And then you just sitting there like, but you know, you know, okay, two plus two is seven, but I deserve to be rich. Oh, okay. Everybody wants to be rich and famous. Interesting. You want to be rich, but you can't count. Mm, okay. You want to be famous because you want attention. I just want people to notice me everywhere that I go. And I want to tell the world, see, you can you can do the bare minimum of anything in life and you can wind up like me. Okay. All right. All right. But did you tell, but for your adults, did you tell, you know, the teenagers how this works? How you want, you trying to uh, bump bum your way into rich and famous status? Did you tell them that part? Did you tell them, well, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to work. I don't want to do anything because I'm going to be rich. So can I stay with you? I don't want to, I don't, I don't have money to keep my phone on. So can I get some money from you? I don't, I don't feel like doing anything. I don't want to cook. I don't want to clean. I don't want to do nothing because one day I'm going to be rich and famous. Do you know how many people in their thirties and forties and fifties are still, uh, or, or, a half of these people out here who have mental issues are just people who were dumb when they were in school, whether it be on purpose or they were just dumb. And now they're going to be rich and famous. And now they're looking at you like, I know you don't understand. I have a dream like Martin Luther King. You know, if they're based on the content of my character. Somebody else is going to do everything for me. Man, that's, that wasn't the dream. That, that, that wasn't the dream, bro. That, that wasn't the dream. And then the, then the irony of this is, you want to be rich, like I just said, and you want somebody else to make you rich. Like you are that lazy that you have that you don't want to do it, pretty much anything to make yourself successful, but you want to meet a successful person who's going to make you successful. And they got to stop everything they're doing because you deserve to be rich and famous. You, it, this is part of this. I, you know, I got to bring it up. This is part of this whole high value man dating thing. All you ladies, I, just want, I deserve to be with a man who's going to, who's going to, who's going to give me money and buy me clothes and buy me, and take me on trips and buy me a nanny and buy me a chef and buy me a maid because I just, I just, I deserve it because, because, because I'm me and I, and I have, I've been struggling in all these toxic relationships. It's toxic to be around somebody that damn lazy. It's toxic. It really is. To be around somebody who's lazy and entitled. And then, <laughs> why are you working so hard? Because I didn't hitch my wagon to you and you ain't shit. That's why. Yeah, like you, you, you know. But then, you know. What, what, you ever notice people who, they work. You know, they, they, they're lazy and then they realize, oh, I gotta, I gotta change my life and I gotta, and then they change their life. They change their life. They change their lifestyle. They turn into a new person only until they reach part of their goal. They don't even reach the whole goal, just part of it. And then when they hitch their wagon to another person, they fall off. They, 
Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm so depressed. Life is so hard. I worked out and I got myself in the best shape of my life. And I got and I was the best I ever was in life. And then when I got with you, I decided to do nothing. And I became a slouch. And I gained 40 pounds. And I got lazy. And I got depressed. And I didn't want to do anything. And then you broke up with me. And now I'm going to show you who I was. Because now I'm going to make you pay. Because I'm going to show you that I'm a great person out of spite. I don't think y'all realize this, but you know, if you if you're around lazy people who want to be rich, when it's time to show up, I want to be a famous, I want to be a famous musician. Okay, it's time to do a show, but but I don't have I don't have a, a hundred thousand people in the crowd, so I'm not gonna do it. It's only five people here. Why would I do that? Well, you're gonna have to start somewhere. No, I don't have to start somewhere. I'm special. I need to start right with with a sold out show with with a, with fifty thousand people cheering my name that don't even know me because I showed up. And until that happens, I'm not going to get off this couch. I'm not showing up. I'm not starting from the bottom. No, I'm not. Okay, well, your life is going to stay at the bottom since you never started at the bottom because you live at the bottom. <laughs> this is, my suffering makes me earn it later on in life. No, it don't because you're not suffering. Laziness, your own, your own laziness ain't suffering. That's just laziness. That's the consequences of laziness. That's all that is. But whatever, man. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.